Okay, welcome back to this flash uh, tutorial on creating the simple gallery site. Okay, the first things we've got to think about is the folder structure. Now this is the way I work, it's not necessarily the right way, I just find that this will be the most efficient way for training purposes and for you to get um, the overall picture of, of what we're aiming to do. The first thing I always do is to create the folder for it. In this case, it's on my desktop. So I create a folder and I name that folder. So let's just move that folder over there. It's not moving. That's too long. There we go. Okay, so we're going to call this gallery site. Now this will be the root folder for everything that's going to go inside. So within that folder I'm now going to create a few other folders. One is going to be images and this is where all the images that we use are going to be put. Another folder is assets and this will be all the creation assets such as the Photoshop files and finally this will be the document folder where any documents from clients or documents that you create they'll go in there and then finally we'll do the flash site now if you're doing an HTML site you could name this HTML site it's up to you and that will contain all of the folders including the um, original flash files and within the flash sites folder I'm going to create another folder called www and that will be where we put our final site so this is the simple image structure the next thing to do is if you're getting a brief from a client is try and structure that brief um, if you're creating it from scratch like we are then we'll create our own and what I usually use is a notepad document or a word document a word pad document so that's normally found in your accessories and then word pad and that'll open this up and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this with the site so we're going to call this flash gallery and that will be the site name obviously if you put your client and the date that you started the project or the date that this document was created which in this case is the 27th of the 2nd, 10. Okay, and then the brief to design a gallery site for YouTube. Okay, and now we're gonna go and look at, create the site map. So the site map is going to be arranged like this. We're going to have the home page. This will be the top root directory from that. In that page, we're going to tab in, put a marker, and put the others about us. And do the same for all the other pages. Contact. And obviously if you're having a page that's going to go through to another page then you would sub indent it again and have email or PDF download or whatever you want and you would keep tabbing in for the for more and more levels so it's up to you how you create that side of it but this is a simple sitemap this will get you going so now is content which would be supplied from your client or written by you and now you would put home and then you would start typing this is the home content and then of course double line break it and have about us and again this is the about us page 
and generally just keep putting all that information in once you've finished with all that information save that document out and that will be the document that you use to create or have the content for the site so once you've done that save that document in the documents folder as the brief and all info relating to the site should be held within this document uh, at the end you can create, turn it into a PDF and send it to the client or edit it and send it to the client so you've got all that information there so this is all that we need at the beginning of this course um, and it will give you by creating the document in there it will give you an idea of where you're heading with it so create the pages as I've done and modify it, put the text in that you want to put in there. I'm going to use um, just dummy text for this site, but you you might want to use um, real wording for it all. There's a reason also that I've done it as a Word document um, in TXT file because I didn't want to bring any formatting. Um, I can copy and paste it straight out of this document straight into Flash and it's not going to inherit any of the um, characteristics of like a Word document which might add HTML to it. Um, this is especially relevant when you're putting it into things like Dreamweaver. You'll get um, a Word document from a client and you'll strip the text out and put it straight into Dreamweaver and then because it's come from Word document it'll inherit the properties and you'll get all sorts of funny things going on. So I always strip it all out of Word documents and put it into Notepad or WordPad and save it as a txt file that's been saved as an rtf file so a little bit of a mistake there because it's going to open up in word so i needed to save it out as a txt file so it didn't inherit any of those any of those details so i'll open it up with again it's good that this little mistake has happened and then i'm going to go save as and down here i'm going to select text document and save it in there and it will remove all the formatting from it which is what you want so that's a good pointer and a mistake there which hopefully highlights what we need so that's what we need we need as a txt file not a word document okay i'll see you in the next lesson where we'll start gathering all our assets together and um, then we'll start creating a uh, photoshop file of uh, the site to get an understanding of how the design is going to look see you in the next lesson